Sati saw the train Basin State Bison rock the London Raiders to the barn for the first time this season. After their previous road encounter, the Bison looked to show the visitors that this was a one-off and that they come back fighting. Arguably creating the better chances as the puck moved from end to end up and down the ice. But with chances missing the net, it looked like the hood start getting frustrated as they couldn't convert on simple chances. And with those that did hit the net, both goalies proved that they would be hard to break down, stopping everything that came their way. and as play headed into the second period, it would be the Raiders who would apply the early pressure. Eventually scoring the game's first as Novak converts on a delayed penalty call. Yet the Stampede charged back, creating trouble in front of the Raiders' net. But this wouldn't deter the visitors, as they would look to extend their lead, but the shot this time flew high over the goal. Then, on another attack, they looked threatening once more. But thankfully for the hosts, the pass was cut out by Adam Jones and cleared away. Once again, the Bison charged up the ice. The puck with Ashley Tate this time until being checked into grey in the Raiders' net. And with both teams coming together, this time we see all Dan Scott being escorted to the penalty box. And from the resulting face off, the Bison got a shot straight through on Grey. But on the reverse camera, we can see it agonisingly on the line before the net gets knocked off and Ryan Sutton taps it home. Unfortunately for the hosts, the officials see it right and only award another face off. But the herd wouldn't give up, creating more chances. Unfortunately this time, Pleasure didn't make any contacts in the shot, and it goes away. <laughs> then it was time for some pressure from the opposition, as they started to make more chances. The first coming through traffic, but Metsu was able to stay with it, and hold on to a relatively simple shot. A second then came in from a tight angle, but again Metsu keeps control, and it's held on for the whistle. Unfortunately, the Raiders' pressure would lead to them getting a second goal in the final minute of the period, as Baldock would jump on the rebound and tap it home. Really 
Yet, with even less time to go in the second period, with less than even 30 seconds to play, Pleasure manages to jump on the puck behind the net and score a rough round goal, halving the visitors lead leading into the final period. And as play entered the final regulation period, the Hood came out ready to fight, applying the early pressure and forcing Gray into a scramble to hover the puck. And it would indeed be the hosts who would score next, as Alex Sanford scores a power play goal deflecting a shot from the point. And now smelling the win, the Sun Peter continued to apply pressure on the Raiders' end. But the only result was a cross check on Morris into an official. No penalty was given that on the play though. And this seems to be heading into a physical end to the game as both sides look to score the next go ahead goal and show that they were more dominant both on the score line and through the body. As both sides picked up penalties for an instant behind the play, seeing Morris get a two minute for holding and the Raiders player getting a two minute for roughing. Once again, the host looks for the next vital goal, but again, Gray stayed strong, keeping out the shot. But eventually, the Bison's efforts would pay off, and they would take the lead, this time through Tom Ralph, scoring a powerful power play effort from the point. This would result in the Raiders calling a timeout as they look to take back control of the game. And they definitely tried as both sides came together once again at centre ice this time. Results seeing penalties going either way as Bailey picked up a minor for interference and the visitors won for Ruffin. And the Raiders would continue their physical attacks, picking up another roughing penalty for a hit on the far boards. The result though saw the Stampede run through the three defending Raiders as they upped the pressure during the 4-3 power play. And eventually they would get their rewards as Adam Jones wristed a shot home, igniting the whole building as the host took the lead. Yes! And Darren showing us just what that means. returning to his duties of announcing. The game would then continue with the visitors trying to get back in the game applying 
all the pressure they could. But the bison managed to clear the zone. And as Bailey looks for a chance, he's taken out with a high hit to the head. Seeing Josh Henley storm in to protect his teammate, and the results are a minor penalty for the bison man. Meanwhile, the Raiders player for the hit to the head received a 2 plus 10 and was ejected from the Knights game. And from this point on, the game seemed to be going all in the host's favour as it continued to pressurise the Raiders' net. But Gro continued to do his best to try and keep his team in the game, despite his own defender pushing the goal onto him from a slight knock from Sanford. Bryce would then continue to maintain the pressure, turning the putt over in the offensive zone before firing the shot high from the close in. But some chances were still going both ways, as the Raiders seemed to have a great opportunity in behind the Bison defence. Yet Metzi would pour for the Hurts once more, spreading himself across the goal, all before losing his glove and play being forced to stop. Again, Metzi was forced into action as he hovers another Raiders effort as they charge the zone. And despite the hurts from both goalies of the night, arguably one of the best stops actually came from the defender Dan Scott for the Raiders as he stops an empty net opportunity in the final seconds. Good win tonight. How do you feel about it? Yeah, no, it's good to get that uh, two points at home, keep that um, home uh, winning streak going, um, and hopefully push on in tomorrow. And as you said, winning streak, you're only four games in the way now, beating at home in the league. Yeah, no, that's really good. Really positive that we make this place a tough, tough place for other teams to come. Um, now we've got to make sure we start picking off teams away um, and, and put a few runs to uh, wins together in a row, um, and hopefully climb that league table. And you made some quite big saves tonight, scoring this goal. Which you feel about <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's one in the third that's a nice save. Um, I say fairly quiet night to be honest. Um, the boys played really well in defence, um, and if I can chip in with a, a save to make sure we uh, keep that lead. Um, then obviously I'll, I'll try and do what I can. And defensively, how did you feel about your defence performance tonight? Yeah, really good. They've been playing really well, not giving up too many shots. Uh, I would say only, only one save I think that I really needed to make uh, tonight early. And uh, I was a bit disappointed to give up a couple of goals. Um, but I say we, uh, we got the win, so that's the main thing.